Hey guys, Schmader. Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of an update to the world tour that I did a little bit ago. I do apologize for not uploading too much. I, I am going to try to upload some more videos more, more regularly. This video is probably going to be two parts. One part for my big area over there, and then another part for the kind of more communal area that everybody has kind of built in. I think it'll just be easier that way because I'll probably be able to go into more depth of what I've built and I'll probably just give general tours of kind of everything. So we're not going to be starting here, but uh, I'll see you guys real soon. Alright, let's get right into this. So this is kind of the angle where we were the last time we did the world tour. This is where kind of where, where we first started. And you can already see a lot a lot of things are different. I mean, first we have, we have a huge ship here that my cousin Griffin built. Pretty dope. I think this is where he's he's currently living. And then I believe up there where the bridge is, he's going to be building a secondary home. To fit the boat, he did end up taking down my, my old dock. And then he just he built a way bigger one to kind of, you know, just match up scale and everything like that. But yeah, I do love his boat. Really big. You can kind of get on here a little bit and I'll give a little bit of a tour. Got some cats. Got all the masts and sails and little nets and stuff. In here is really cool. He has like a cool little map room. A little parrot. And then in the back of the ship is where we, we started the video. So if we continue this way, we have the big old dock. And then over here to our immediate right, you can see the little town hall that Toe has built. Along with a few other little villager houses. And then on the dock, we have a cool little boat rack here. We've got some little crates and things that have been loaded on and off of the ships. I am planning on building my own dock, and I'll show you guys where that's going to be later on in the video. I'm also planning on building my own ship. And I believe I'm going to build a ship closer to, closer to this dock. This is kind of like the big port of this island. So if you come up here, I'll show you guys Andy's house. I'm not going to go inside of every building because it would take a while. And I don't want this video to be three hours long. Around the village, we do have these little communal chests, though, which is pretty dope. So if we come up here, we see Andy, otherwise known as the Monkey King's house. He's got his two camels. I believe, let's see, what are their names? You have Biscuit and Gravy. <laughs> He's got a nice little base here. I like the like the overgrown kind of aesthetic here. The great pumpkin sees and knows all. Just a nice little cozy little jungle. He is a monkey, so it does make sense. And then down here we have our sniffer cage. It's pretty dope. And before I go down to the sniffer cage, I do want to show you guys our nether portal, which is just up these stairs. This is another area Andy built. Kind of have this, like, nether room. I believe there was wood there, but it may have burned down. I'm honestly not too sure. Surprisingly, we have yet to actually build any sort of, like, nether highway system or anything like that. Something I do plan on doing quite soon. Only recently we actually beat the Ender Dragon. Finally got ourselves some elytra. So here we're walking the sniffer cage. We have some... We have a good view. You can kind of see the start of one of Toes' areas. We have a nice little wheat field here. And then we have the beautiful Sniffer Protection Farm. So we have lots of Sniffers here. I believe some of them have names. You got Hungi, Henry. I believe we have Henrietta somewhere in here. Lots of Sniffers. We're doing good on, on bringing them back. You know, they were endangered species. They had to work hard to to keep them, keep them from going extinct. So here's the newest little area that Andy built. Before this was just a big lake, and he's actually turned it into somewhat of a. Let me move away from the sniffers. He turned it into like a little exhibit, and kind of just like a different area. I believe he's he's planning on making a whole bunch of different biomes here. So here he has the ocean, and I believe we have like a little axolotl friend over here. What does the sign say? Axolotl exhibit featuring the rare blue boy. Where is the rare blue? Oh, there he is. He's just chilling over there. Just having a good old time. So yeah, this is this is this is a nice little area. I'm really excited to see how this, this area comes together. 
And right over here, where that cake is, is actually one of the newest member, Angie's. We have her house that I can show you guys around. So that's actually the next place we're going to be going. I would show you guys John's area, but he hasn't, uh, I think he's been a little busy. He hasn't actually been able to play too much recently. So. I don't think much is different there. If you want to check out his base, definitely go see the first world tour. You can definitely just, he has some, he's a cool little area up there. So this is the old bleep blop, or otherwise known as Angie. So here she built a gigantic, like, amethyst geode. She went around, mined a whole bunch of them. I believe she's going to go back and gather a whole bunch of the clusters too, kind of fill it out. But she, I mean, I, I appreciate that she even put the, the calcite, you know, layer in between it. And then here is her, I believe her storage room. I, I really rarely come over here. I didn't even know she had a lot of this until kind of recently. I'm not going to go through any of her things, but we have a couple hallways down here. We have really nice viewing platforms. You can get a little sneak peek at Toes' boat. Probably actually get a good view of the island over here. Oh, yeah. So she has a good, good viewing platform. She has these hot tubs filled with fish. That are actually, I believe, made for toes, so he can get up here with his trident a little easier. Because he lives on an island, and we have a tunnel that you can see down there. But, it's just a little easier for his, his trident to be used. A whole bunch of little fish. She's a lot of area. We're going to be going up there real soon. Let's go check that out. Oh, what's in here? Oh, this is just a little view. Alright, so if we take a right... Back at the main area. Looks like we have a little bit of a trash can action going on here. A little bit of a water. Oh, this is cool. Wall of Fine Art. Exhibit by your Emperor. I feel like these grass blocks are probably not meant to be here. I'm gonna go ahead and break these. We have an Enderman problem. They've been coming around and dirty enough our place. So while we go through here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break out some of these, some of these dirt blocks. Alright, I think that's the last one. At the end of this hallway, we have a, another little just... I really like these just little little outlooks. It's very nice. I like the use of this copper. I have yet to build with any copper. I like it when it's all green like this. I believe it's when it's like oxidized or what have you. I definitely need to get some, get some copper builds going on. We're going to go down here and take a left and check out this little this little area up here i've been up here once before it's actually really cool i like the calcite the calcite and the pink actually goes pretty well again so here is her little zoo you got lots of egg friends you got boop marco polo you got the emperor king um you know you got you got everybody fern i believe they're they're all named for the most part Andy Jr., Joey, Jumper, <laughs> all types of people in here, Biggie A, <laughs> so this is a little zoo, I really like the look of it, you got the nice purple glass, you can outlook, see the land, see the ocean, not really see the land, not much land to see that way, so the next area we're going to go to is we're actually going to pop my elytra on, we're going to glide down here to Toes' little island. So when you land on the dock of Toes' Toes' little island, you walk up here. You have a really nice little little walking path with a beautiful little stream going through it. I do like how this place has come together. You got like beach chairs and things on the side. Toes Manor. Come in here. Now he, he does have an army of dogs. He goes on these long expeditions and always comes back with many, many animals. Let's take a little little walk over here to his island. He recently built an island over here. I believe he's building with, like, every wood type in the game. He's using mahogany. I think this island has a lot of the wood types on it. Somewhere on this island, I, think, I believe he's, he's trying to get at least one of every, every wood type. So on this little island, this is a little, like, nature preserve. With the flying camel over there. Here you have Hepiticus. I couldn't remember his name in the first video. 
What are you? Did we get... What else do we get here? He does have more animals around here. I'm not sure where they are. I believe there's more around here. He might have moved them, but... Here's a little nature preserve. I really do like this area. Nice water feature. Most of this island is handmade, which is actually really cool. I always gotta respect it when people just terraform and make their own make their own land. We're continuing on this way behind his house. He's got a nice little little bench over here. He's got a bee boat. He's got more animals, of course. And then over here, he actually has a big turtle cage, which is pretty cool. You got a war turtle and shell there. You know, the best Digimon of all time. So then over here, we got some more little doggies. And then we have Toes' ship. Now, he, he, he built this really quickly. I actually really like how this how this came together. Toes, is, he's, he's known for just making his own... His own style, you know. His, his building style is hard to it's hard to describe, but I do really enjoy this boat's design. Got a lot of storage on it, and then at the very top of it, I do believe we have a friend. That's been a minute since I've been up here. No, maybe not up here. Oh, there he is, down here. Here we have B Boat Barbosa. This is the captain of this ship, I do believe. And the ship's actually hiding, if we come down here, a little skeleton spawner. So if I come down here, we have a very crude, it's not, not decorated too much down here. I mean, you don't really need nothing fancy. It's just kind of an early game XP and bone farm. We do have it, so if you break this uh, this dirt block, it'll just all drop to their death. Actually, there's a hopper, so you can AFK it. So yeah, the boat is hiding a little little farm down here, which is kind of nice. I think it's really well hiding, hiding it with the ship, because you don't even notice that there's like a tube coming out the bottom of the boat when the ship is there. Well, that's most of over here. Toes has built a little bit more. You know, I, I do want to show inside of Toes' house. I like his little basement design. With the shaders that we use, it just looks really cool. So down here, his floor design, he has like all these different like blocks of ore. And I don't know why, like it's simple, but it looks really good. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, I think this is where he's trying to put one more. I think the only one he's missing is netherite. I do believe. And then he's got a nice little design in here. This is a little berry farm. I don't even know it was a thing, but it's ridiculously effective. And he's got his little sugarcane farm that's also ridiculously effective. And his lava farm that's not as ridiculously effective. <laughs> so yeah, Toes, he's, he's got some things going on here. Let me think, where's the next place I show you guys? You know, the next place I'm going to show you guys is actually up here. A little bit of the work in progress of what, uh, what everybody's got going on here. So up here is where my cousin Griffin's actually building. It is a little dark, actually. Let me let me find a bed. All right. So up here is the next little area that my cousin's working on. So he built this nice little rope bridge, which I I like a lot. I mean, it's a big gap here to cover. I can't remember how many blocks he said it was, but I think this this bridge does a good good job of covering the distance without it feeling unrealistic or that it doesn't really fit. And then over here on the other side of this little rope bridge, there's a creeper that's going to be trying to make my life difficult. Come on, creeper. They all fixed. Nothing happened. We're all good. So up here is where my cousin Griffin's actually going to be building his little, his little house. Land claimed fucking sue me. Yeah, I think he was worried people wouldn't, wouldn't like him building up here, but he's all good. He's all good to build up here. So yeah, now that this, uh, nothing happened here. Let's just, let's just move on. So, yeah, this is where he's going to be building that house. And then, let's see, what else do I want to show you? Oh, I'll show you the town hall. So the town hall here, built by the old twos. We have a good map of the area here. I'll show you guys this. So here we are at the town hall. 
We got some docks, more docks, villager houses. And then we have my biome. I say my biome because I planted every one of the pink trees in this in this area. But I'll be showing this off in part two of this of this whole episode. Yeah, this is a really cool. You got a cool map here. Let's see, we got we got the Empire's rule book and then the bounty book. So the rule book's kind of cool. We have 13 pages of rules, and some of the charges include tomfoolery, tom fuckery. Um, you know, there's there's different things here. You know, you don't want to be you want to be doing doing things. I mean, certain laws are simple. You know, it's illegal to harm, kill another person. Um, it's illegal to put a bounty on somebody. Um, it's forbidden to buy or sell people. This is referred to as slavery. You know, I mean, just simple things that you know we've we've run into some problems with, and we've had to make some rules about. You know, just simple government things. It happens. You know, it's just it, it happens to everybody. It's just simple things that all all things everyone's got to go through and then up here we have our little courthouse you know it's small it's just up, up up top of the town hall we don't have too many bad actors but you know when it when it happens we need some place to to deal with them so that's that's what up there is for and then uh let's see it's pretty much the town hall just a nice little humble place I believe the last thing I really got to show you guys in this area anyways is the tunnel, tunnel to my area. So if you come down here, it is still under construction, so enter at your own risk. But we do have a little a little station here so we can have we can go to the Crescent Village or to Toes' Manor. I'll just give you guys a little sneak peek here. So we're going to be going all the way down on the right side there. Take a left there, takes the toes. But we're not gonna be there. We're not gonna be going there. We're gonna be going back to my area. So let's get on here this highway. I recommend keeping all hands and feet inside of the boat. And this does get a little dangerous, especially at the turns. It's a little. I feel like it's not the safest method. When you do get to the end, though, Cousin Griffin, little redstone man, he came over here and built this little machine here, so it shoots two arrows and breaks that boat. There's a sign letting you know the right outland and we have had a few accidents. And this tunnel this tunnel brings you to my area. So I do think this is where I'm gonna I'm gonna end off part one. Part two is gonna be a little bit of a tour of uh, of my area. If you guys do enjoy, please stick around. So I do think that's where we're gonna be leaving off today's episode. That's never a good, that's not a good sign. Alright guys, I do think that's where I'm going to leave off today's episode. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do everything. I do enjoy it and help and help and read and doing it and liking and whoing and whoing.